Happy July 5th, everybody. I'm thinking ahead to this coming Sunday, and our theme for worship is compassion, the kind of compassion that God shows to each one of us, and also the compassion that we're called to show to other people. Our scripture passage is from Luke 10. It's the very familiar story of the Good Samaritan. And as I've been thinking about this, this familiar story, it, it takes on a life of its own. For so many people, this is the essence of Christianity. But it's a simple message, yet not simplistic. I've been looking at two sources this afternoon. The Historical Jesus of the Synoptics by Juan Luis Segundo, in which he says, Contrary to all the provisions of those who possess divine revelation, God's judgment is based not on the law promulgated, studied, and elaborated over the centuries, but on the help offered the least. Another place I like to go to hear sort of an unfiltered look at Scripture is the Gospel of the Soul and Tanami by Ernesto Cardinal, in which he quotes from people who, who didn't have any formal theological education. Some of them had no formal education. They simply heard the story and then responded. A young lady named Olivia responded to this passage and this, this part of this passage saying, Jesus gave the, the teacher of the law, as an example, a person of another race and another religion. So we can know that everybody is a neighbor. He gave, as an example, one who wasn't a neighbor, but just the opposite, an enemy. In this world where there's so much hatred and hurt and pain and suffering, we're called to be compassionate. And so as we respond to that calling, I invite you to prayerfully consider not only this, this passage and this very familiar story, but prayerfully consider how compassion plays in your own life. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday, and I really pray that the Holy Spirit does something special for, for you as you look ahead to worship this week.